Good morning, traders. This is Jeff Kohler, aka The Option Addict from optionaddict.blogspot.com, here with another video to go over my week's watch list, which has to be broken up into two videos, unfortunately, because there's quite a lot to get through. Now, this week I got a lot of bearish picks, which I think is kind of uh, coincidental to what the market is doing as it hesitates from its all time highs and starts to turn downward. Uh, I think this week we might have a lot of bearish ideas to make some money on, so let's get started. For those that watched the market cast, I talked about uh, home ins and hotels management, uh, kind of a downward trending stock that turned down from old resist, or excuse me, old uh, support. You can see uh, is illustrated about right here, 3250 was an old support level being used as new resistance. It's up a little bit today, but that's okay. I think that still offers a good low risk entry point into the trade. So I'm looking at this to make a lower low and hopefully take out its lows at about 28. Uh, next on the list, I've got FLML, Flammable Technologies, and you can see lower highs, lower lows. In fact, it looks like it just kind of popped its way down from this prior low, and uh, yesterday had a really nice day I entered into, and uh, today we're getting a little bit of follow-up, uh, as you can see here. So looking for this to take out 24, obviously, hopefully end up trending down to the low 20s. Uh, just based on these average movements that I can see going on here in the trend for the last six months. Next, SIRF. And you can see we're coming up on support here right at about $19 per share. Stock's kind of curling over here at 22 In fact, you might have to zoom in a little bit closer to see this guy. But uh, kind of headed its way up to about 22 so now turning back downward. Kind of a pretty good steady mover. So looking for this to take out uh, some, hopefully, or at least reach its 52-week lows. Next, I've got uh, Digital River. And what's hopefully retesting, and I think I'm a little bit early on this guy, but maybe only by a point or so. Probably has maybe another buck or so left to rise before it ends up turning down. So I'm looking for this to roll over and hopefully continue in this little downtrend that we've seen going on here recently. Next, I've got Edison, and for those of you watching the old 10-year yield and just overall interest rates in general, you'll see that uh, you know as interest rates have been falling for quite some time, well, EIX has obviously been rising. Now, as you can see, the 10-year starting to spike up pretty heavily. Notice how Edison has been getting clobbered. So I think that uh, you can see broken trend support here. It's come up and it's retested this, and I think this offers a pretty good entry point. But I think that also is going to coincide with rising rates. So the two will go hand in hand. If you, if you continue to see the 10-year rising, look to get short some utilities or anything that's interest rate sensitive. Next, I'm going to take a look at Marvel Technologies. Throw the trend line here. All this is is a lower high. Good entry point, hopefully, to ride this down to a lower low. Keep in mind, it is a $17 stock. Got a price target of about 15 bucks, so two dollars. Probably a better short opportunity than an option play, but uh, do your worst. Next, I'm watching Infosys. We talked about uh, getting short India, and Infosys went crazy. But uh, I think right now we're kind of at a, a mean for the stock right now, which has kind of been an average high-low area, about 52, 53 for the stock and it's turning down. So I'd love to see the stock retest 47.50. So I'm going to use some put options here to do that. You know, probably some some 55s. Next, I'm going to look at DNA. That was on the old market cast radar. It's down trend's been uh pretty nice as of late. Lower highs, lower lows. Where the stock stops, no one knows. So if you can see the lower high coming into play here, Look at getting uh, some put options on this guy. I, it's not the most volatile stock, and what I mean by that is it doesn't move in the biggest percentage movements. It's pretty erratic, but it doesn't make the biggest movements. So you might be careful with this one. You might uh, set a pretty tight stop on this. But if you're looking at puts, I'd probably be going some 80s. I'd be a little bit conservative here uh, just because it's a pretty wild ride. Next, LTC. You can see the uh, the realty stocks have obviously loved to get short these guys, and this one's rolling over as well. So add that one to your radar. How about getting short some Philly, P H L Y? This old consolidation area, 42, looks like it's rolling over from that. Up a little bit today, but 
This one also, if you like the big stocks and make really big movements, you know, big volatile stocks, this probably isn't the one. So be careful here. I, I would imagine I see probably about a two to three point drop in this based on the norm. But it hasn't made any really big convincing moves as of yet. So tread lightly with that guy. Celgene, C-E-L-G. This is a uh, pretty gutsy on my call but uh, when we broke through this old high at 60 and we're using it as resistance now yeah, that's kind of my means to looking to enter into a bearish play here and uh, hopefully if the market pulls back that'll give this guy some momentum so keep an eye on Celgene next Hibbit Sports also on the market cast radar you can see it's uh, gapped down a little bit here this morning down quite a bit uh, looking at uh, just riding the trend on this if you're gonna buy some puts go out probably about three months or so get some time Ride the lower highs, lower lows. This thing just keeps on getting crushed. So, I like it. Uh, let's see, what about uh, some bullish ideas for the week? LZ talked about getting along some chemicals on the market cast. And uh, easy, to, easy to manage entry point here as far as your risk is concerned. This nice little trend line here, if it closes below that, well, hey, that's a quick, easy loss, no big deal. AMG, which was on last week's radar and on this week's, finally got that move I've been waiting for. I was a little bit anticipatory and was kind of left out to dry with some of my calls here. Stock's starting to move now today. Like the entry point. If you're looking for a good bounce play, take a look here. Just came down and it uh, kissed this prior high and it's turned up nicely. So know about it. Uh, Google. Again, I, I think I probably called the top in this one for those of you trading Google be careful I'm I am awful with the stock we just we don't see eye to eye we don't get along but it came down and, and hit these old highs as, as support it was up pretty good yesterday like the entry point today it does nothing so again I, I don't I'm not uh, all that great of a trader with the stock so if you're in it now that it's on my radar make sure you have stops Respironics, uh, kind of a triangle play that we saw here. Also, I liked the uh, entry point yesterday as a uh, bounce off of support. Talked about this on the market cast on the bullish list. So there's something to add to your bullish radar. Whoops. Next, I've got TU Telus, and pretty good support bounce going on here. Got pretty close to even this uh, this cup and handle formation that we watched this break out of. And this is going to be weird, but here, check this out. All right, so the, the lower half of the circle represents the cup. The handle was on the second test of resistance right there, and then it finally popped. This is a great adding point if you traded the cup and handle. If not, this is a good entry point just based on the upward trend. So add TU to your radar. Got to move quickly. WSO, yeah, I was watching this as support. Obviously, that uh, gap down yesterday wasn't all that nice, so... I don't know. This was one we talked about a little while back. If you like the entry point from a uh, horizontal perspective, consider it. Also, Autodesk, another good uh, low risk entry point right here at about 45. If it breaks below, easy easy manage the trade and get out. Two more things I'm watching and I got a bail. Middleby, M I D D. It's got some pretty good support lined out here at 60. If it pops below, I'm looking to trade that. And last but not least, NYX. Stock just can't get a bid lately. Look at that. Finally broke that uh, support line we were watching at 80. And I think it's going to get ready to fall quite a bit here. So keep those on your radar. That's my watch list for the week. If you have any questions, please come find me. Optionaddict.blogspot.com. You guys have a great week in the market. And uh, we'll see you soon. Take care.